Peace, love and light, my star family. Welcome back. Um, this article is coming from the RT News, Russia Times, um, U.S. News section. Democrats fume as armed protesters descend on Michigan capital to protest lockdown. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I haven't even read it yet, but let's go into it. First of all, look at this picture right here. You got to see these, these people. <laughs> this is letting you know. This is letting you know already. That the world's coming to an end or this society that we live in is coming to an end. The point that these people, I mean, I understand, but there's laws saying that, that they're able to carry assault rifles and, you know, open carry. But <laughs> shit finna go down. Shit finna hit the fan. Mm -hmm. Crowds of protesters, some carrying weapons, descended on the state of Capitol in Lansing, Michigan. Oh, man, my state, my state where I was born, Michigan. <laughs> As legislators considered extending COVID-19 lockdown measures, Democrats blame President Donald Trump. <laughs> Governor Gretchen Whitmore issued a stay-at-home order late last month as the coronavirus epidemic took hold in her state. When the governor, a Democrat and fierce critic of Trump, extended the order by 15 days last week, a group of residents filed a lawsuit claiming Whitmore infringed on their constitutional rights. After Michigan court claims rejected the suit, the state legislator sat down and lasting on Thursday to debate extending Whitmore's Whitmere's state of emergency. Honestly, I mean, I, I don't know how many articles that I've done or how many times I talked about this whole COVID-19 mess, but I mean, honestly, I feel like it's, it's just time to just, I mean, they know, you know, the truth and they want to continue to, I mean, control the masses with this mental game, it's, it's all psychiatry at this point, in psychology, excuse me, psychology, but they know that it's not as bad as they say it is, and I don't care, people try to use their emotion to try to make folks feel bad, but when you think about it logically, from a nap, from like a logic and rationale standpoint, I mean, you have to let go of emotions and, and look at the facts, look at reality, I mean, are people really dying as dying or dying as as from the coronavirus from what they say or a lot of people just dying from pre-existing health issues that they already had or they just die naturally or i mean this is i mean every time there's a death they blame it on coronavirus but um reading more of the article though the vote would not affect the standing stay-at-home order it could renew the state of emergency that grants whitmere the power to issue such restrictions Hundreds of demonstrators showed up clad in U.S. flags and, and MAGA hats chanting, let us in and vote no. <laughs> I, I can't. I'm sorry, but I can't stop laughing. It was the second mass rally against Whitmere's lockdown. Uh, two weeks ago, thousands drove to Lansing, mostly observing social distancing protocols, outraged at the government's ban on non-essential non -essential activities that include selling gardening tools, or paying someone to mow the lawn. Like, this is some goofy, like, okay. I understand. I mean, people should be happy. Hey, we, we're out of work. We have time to be able to think and plan our future. But people worrying about getting back to work. Hey, honestly, look, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of in agreement with, I mean, to a degree. I mean, hey, I kind of want things to just be better than what they are now. But as far as working, I mean, we got to do for ourselves, but people really just like being caught up in the system. I mean, because cause, cause as of right now, like we don't have a physical hold on society as far as us carving celestial solar beings, but we still have to follow the rules. I mean, just to keep peace and keep law and order, you know, it's, it's logical for us to just keep law and order and, and go with the flow of things. But at the same time, I mean, we don't take shit from nobody. So, I mean, this, this this whole lockdown situation is is basically I, it to me is goofy. It's, it's a lot of things that I mean. This is all just another way of just stopping us from basically and people really getting angry. I mean, just look at this guy right here. He he's like, Fuck, I'm trying to go back to work. <laughs> he said, I miss my day to day nine to five job. Just saying, <laughs> but but for real though, I mean, it's it's affecting everybody. In some way, shape, or form, probably not the same. But at, at the same time, I mean, look what it's doing. I mean, 
a lot of, of I guess, going deeper into this, but it's, it's, it's affecting everybody as far as the farmers, as far as, as, far as people who, who are trying to basically still make a living and provide for their family, but for the ones that can't, I mean, now look, this is just like me just being, you know, just logic and rational. I mean, everybody wants to get back to, I guess, a form of normality in some way or form. But in reality, that's not possible, and it won't be like that because of what what's happened with this whole coronavirus, COVID nineteen mess. People people just so scared. But I mean, for the ones who I mean who are getting sick and who did die, I mean, are people actually researching and actually you know digging deeper and going into their files and actually figuring out what they actually died from instead of taking word? I mean, word of mouth. I mean, predominantly, like I said, our immune systems are are what really are. Are kind of a compromise when you're eating bad and not working out and, and not just not giving a damn about yourself pretty much so i mean people people i mean like i said this is only just the beginning of what's to come in this this next block of four months of high frequency and high energy and then going towards what december i mean the months of december like those those last months leading up to december which makes it 12 basically to the point where the frequency is going to be like the world won't be the same heading into December. A lot of shit's going to happen. A lot of like, you got to think these elites can't keep, can't keep this game going. Okay. How long are they going to have us locked, supposedly locked in mentally, mentally locked in and not physically locked in, but mentally locked in and thinking that the world is, is basically going to, going to basically die because of some pandemic. Like how long will they keep this game going? I mean, it, it can't last for up to, I mean, it, it, it can't last for ever. Nothing that's, I mean, anything that's, that's artificial or fake is not meant to last forever just because it's not real. Anything that's real is meant to stay. Energy is here to stay. So, you know, energy is used in many facets and many forms. So it's always going to be here. It can't be created or destroyed. So this is it's, it's, it's to the point now where people really are getting fed up and frustrated with all of this, this, <laughs> this bullshit with the government all world governments are pushing on the people but you got to think do they have enough balls to actually do something about it besides protesting besides i mean if they care that much as far as me i mean i'm me i'm different i mean like i said i'm an observer i actually watch and i act accordingly but that's all that i will say but these people i mean they got their rifles the ak's all, all of this shit. they they ready to go to war even if it means dying which is amicable but it's not smart, and it's not, and it's not logical to, to do that right now. <laughs> Where we are in no shape or form ready to go against a whole a battalion of military in, informants. We're not ready for that physical part, but as far as mentally and basically going within ourselves and the whole, you know, the spiritual part of it and soul part of it, we can take them down. <laughs> look what's happening on the planet, but um, I, I won't get off topic too much, but the point being is just, just look around. <laughs> people people really are people are acting like a bunch of bots or clones and dummies because because they're following 